IP check L2TP configuration on Ubuntu 1204. It's a very useful feature when your office equipment has no support of such type of VPN. It's very useful when you're trying to deploy SIP because now plenty of phones are equipped with the L2TP clients. I have a small lab here to uh, demonstrate an example of IPsec L2TP configuration so a uh, remote user should be able to connect to the private LAN of the company. And the first thing you need to do is to install a PPP Opens1 and XL2TPD applications. Okay, uh, Opens1 is already the newest version I have installed it already. Um, this installation will ask you some questions and my tutorial works with the default answers so you just enter through it. So now we're going to set the firewall and make sure the kernel forwards the IP packets. So you need to execute this command uh, to enable the IP tables firewall to allow the VPN. Alright, and now I'm gonna um, execute the following comments to enable kernel IP packets forwarding and uh, disable ICP redirects. But before, uh, I will activate this feature. And now, I'll execute these comments. Another one. One more. And the last one. All right. So uh, to make sure this keeps working at boot, you should add the following comments to this to this directory. Okay. You can use this configuration file with get it or any editor you like. Okay, and you should add this up to the file and save it. Okay, now we're gonna um, configure the IPsec, it's opens one configuration file. Alright, so your configuration file should look like mine. And take a notice at this at this line. This is the IP address of my VPN server. This is an external IP address. this file. So make sure uh, there is a blank line at the bottom of this configuration file. It's here. So now we're gonna save it and close. Now I'm gonna set up the share secret for IPsec VPN with this command. Okay, I'll open the configuration file and this is my IP address of the VPN server and my share key is here in the quads so I'm gonna save it now I'm gonna verify uh, my IPC configuration if it's working uh, Alright, just ignore this warnings because um, IPsec is operational, just believe me. And now I'm going to configure the XL2TPD configuration file. Just use your favorite editor to edit the following line file. 
and here is mine and just take a notice uh, at LNS configuration section it's here this is IP range of the addresses that my server will be leasing to VPN clients remote users and my local IP of my VPN server it's here 192.168.100.200 it requires uh, chat authentication so your configuration file may look like mine I'm gonna save it and close now I'm gonna configure the point-to-point -point protocol and its configuration file it's here so I'm just open it okay and um, probably you won't find this file uh, in that directory so you just uh, create it manually and this is my password for VPN connection it's in the quotes just save it and close and now adding users every user should be defined in this configuration file okay so I have my user test this is the name of my L2TP VPN server and this is my password just take a notice it's in quotes I don't know it just works for me and uh, I'm gonna save it okay I've also configured this file for L2TP secrets um, open that and you see there is only password without quotes I'm gonna save it well to make sure that everything has uh, to make sure that everything uh, has the newest config files we just need to restore the OpenSwan and Excel 2TPD server services um, Restart it, and I'm gonna restart this service also. Okay, now uh, we have configured our IPsec L2TP services. Okay, now the next step is to configure our network properties. So we need to set up network interfaces and uh, default routes. But before that, I recommend you to remove Network Manager. Okay, type this command. And click under. It says that package, uh, package Network Manager is not installed, so I have removed it already. And now, we're going to configure interfaces. two interfaces on my Ubuntu VPN server so this is a Excel Zero interface I have the static IP address for my VPN server for private LAN and uh, I have another one this is for a scanner interface network interface So I'm gonna save it. Now you need to restart the network services. Type this command. Okay, it's 
was uh, prepared to bring up Terry Brewer, but it's okay because my indicators for Terry Brewer is already up. That's why I said, you know what? Now let's check out configuration. Microsoft else to be trying using this uh, manipulation and the registry file, but this information you can find with Google. So let's test it. Yeah. 